Hi and welcome to the telephonesockets.co.uk YouTube channel. If you found this video then the chances are you have a fault on your telephone line. This video will help you determine whether the fault is the responsibility of your service provider or whether the fault is your own responsibility. So in order to be able to determine whose responsibility the fault is, whether it's your service providers or your own responsibility, then you need to find this master socket. Now this master socket is called an NTE5 which is Network Terminating Equipment number 5. Using this socket you can isolate your own internal wiring, i.e. everything that's chargeable so should your service provider come out and prove the fault to be on that wiring. So you need to find this master socket, the NTE5. You take out the two front screws and remove the faceplate. By removing the faceplate you are isolating all of your internal wiring, everything that belongs to you and everything that is chargeable. As you can see all of your internal wiring is terminated on that faceplate and your internal wiring will go to your other extensions around the home. So for example, let's say your fault is no dial tone, you have no dial tone on the telephone when it's plugged in in its usual position. Take the two front screws out and remove the faceplate. By doing so, you have isolated all of your internal wiring, as I say, everything that belongs to you and everything that is chargeable should, should your service provider come out and prove the fault is on that wiring. Remove your telephone, get a, no a known working phone and plug it into the test board. If there is no dial tone still at that point there in the test point, then it is 100% definitely your service provider's responsibility. You have isolated everything that belongs to you, you have plugged direct into the exchange and it's still not working. You can contact your service provider and get them to come and repair the fault free of charge. That's what you pay your line rental for, for your service provider to maintain up to this point here. If it is working to that point there, then you know the fault is on your internal wiring, on your internal telephone extensions. In which case, if your service provider come out, for example, say BT or the post office or whoever, and prove the fault is on that internal wiring, then they're going to charge you quite a considerable amount of money. It's an expensive visit, visit charge and an expensive hourly rate. If the fault is on your own internal extensions, then you can either permanently isolate them, or if you want them repaired, then you need to call someone like myself, an independent telephone engineer, to come and repair, to repair that wiring for you. So I hope this video helps. Um, everything that I've said and shown on this video is, is written down in black and white within the first few pages of the phone book. So along with those instructions in this video, you should be able to determine whose responsibility your, your fault is. Um, if you are in my area, in the Redditch area, Worcestershire, and you need further help, please don't hesitate to give me a call on 07946 115030. 